Okay, I uh, thought I'd show you what uh, a modern Rolex replica versus the actual one, how they compare. Uh, the green one on the left, the Hulk, that is a noob. Uh, I think it's version 5 from DH Gate. The one on the right is uh, a current Submariner. That's my personal watch. And it's a real watch. Okay, so here's uh, some, some close-up of the of the face and uh, the ceramic bezel, the crown, you can see the detail on the, the bracelet. I mean, these are, for the price, these are amazingly well-made um, replicas. And uh, the details are, are very accurate overall. Your average person, if you walked up to them and didn't know much about Rolexes, they would more than likely think this is an authentic watch um it's uh it's kind of frustrating the sound of the bezel when you turn it on this does not sound anything like a real rolex nor does it feel like a real rolex it's much rougher um, and you can actually hear the movement if you put it up to your ear and with my rolex you cannot hear anything but uh, visually uh, it's a pretty strong replica they uh, they do an amazing job with the details. And here's the actual Submariner, and uh, I mean, if you compare the two, they they look very similar. The bezel on the uh, the actual sub is very smooth, and uh, mine's pretty beat up. I wear it every day. It's a tool watch, so it's kind of scratched up, but that's the way I like it. So there's. Just kind of a head-to-head -head comparison there. You can see a little bit of difference in the crown guard, maybe. But uh, the watch back, the end links, everything are very, very, very similar. And there's that ratcheting sound that I mentioned. It does have an O-ring under the crown, like the actual sub. It does have a hack feature. And you can see the watch stopped. Um, I didn't wind this very much before I uh, started this little video because I don't wear that watch. I don't I have no use for it. So you can see it stopped there. But there's a, another comparison of the two face-to-face. Uh, -face. The color of the lettering on the bezel is slightly different. But uh, other than that, it's very very close. If you had a loop, you could probably see some small imperfections. A jeweler that knows anything about uh, luxury watches would be probably visually be able to tell what this is uh, without taking the case back off. Uh, it does have the adjustable band. Uh, it's a little wonky compared to the actual one. I mean, everything looks the same. It just doesn't quite function the same. It doesn't lock into place. You can move it and it just kind of pulls out of that slot too easily. But it's pretty close. So there it is on the wrist. It pretty much looks like a Hulk. From five feet away, I don't think anybody would know the difference. Um, it, it does present, unfortunately, rather well. Um, and here it is. And here's the actual Submariner. Again, mine's pretty scratched up, but they look very very similar so yeah it's uh it's amazing what these replicas are capable of um the feel of it in your hand it does feel cheap there's something about the way the band the screws there's just something about it so i'm it's an intangible thing but if you hold both watches back to back it's instantly uh, verifiable that or, or subjective, but it, it, you can instantly feel the quality in the, the Rolex versus the Chinese knockoff. So that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, the only question I have for you is how should I destroy the fake uh, Rolex? I'm looking for some ideas. I'm never going to wear it. No use for it. I'm not going to sell it. Um, I would like to get creative and destroy it somehow. Uh, I don't know, it just seems like it'd be kind of a fun thing to do. So if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, subscribe. And uh, have a great day.
Thanks.